एवरीवन वेलकम टू द सेक्शन क्या सो हियर इन दिस पर्टिकुलर सेक्शन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट हैक दिवा दैट इज हैकथॉन फॉर वुमेन इन इंजीनियरिंग सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट इज दिस हैक दिवा so this is actually a contest which is used by accenture so accenture is hiring women candidates through hack diva contest so the main eligibility criteria it it is open to all the engineering students of all the branches and if you are graduated in 2022 or graduating in 2023 so these two batch students are eligible so if you are a first or second or third year student you are not eligible to apply as well as accenture employees are also not eligible to apply so hack diva is a contest which is conducted for women in engineering branches and in this uh, contest you will be having two rounds one is mcq assessment and other one is coding assessment mcq assessment is going to be conducted on april 13 whereas coding assessment is going to be conducted on april 14 so here we can uh, see the time it starts from 3 pm and in mcq assessment you have 20 mcq question which is based on coding fundamentals and 1 minute each so for 20 mcqs you will be provided with 20 minutes of time and basic fundamental questions will be asked and this is not the elimination round cumulative score of both mcq round as well as the coding round is taken into consideration for shortlisting the final uh, for top candidates and in coding assessment you will get 45 minutes and a coding question will be there you need to solve the question and you can solve the question in any language so if you are familiar with c++ you can go with c++ if you are familiar with python you can go with python so which language you are familiar with you can choose your own language and you can proceed and here the candidates are uh, selected according to the number of test cases passed so each test case will be having each score right so if you have passed only 3 test cases out of 8 your score will be say for example 30 out of 80 so based on the number of test cases passed you will get your score so based on the cumulative score of both the mcq assessment and coding assessment the candidates will be taken so this is all about the contest uh, assessment side so two things mcq assessment on april 13 coding assessment on april 14 MCQ assessment 20 questions 20 minutes from fundamentals and coding assessment a question will be there 45 minutes based on the number of test cases passed you will get the score and then as per the eligibility criteria top can- contestants who are shortlisted they will get an opportunity to participate in this assenger's fast track recruitment process so the date of the fast track recruitment process is not it announced it has to be like it it is yet to be announced so it is not it announced so far then so accenture is actually uh, yeah they are uh, to build a culture of equality so everyone can perform at their best they are uh, can conducting this contest so in order to give equal opportunity for all the female candidates and the eligibility criteria as i told you already so you should be an engineering student either you should be graduated in 2022 or you are going to get graduated in 2023 so these two batch students can only apply for this if you are from first year second year or third year you are not supposed to apply that is you are not eligible as well as if you are an accenture employee you can't participate in this contest yeah and this competition is actually individual participants and cumulative score will be taken and the top 10 candidates they will be awarded the prizes or rupees 25000 and four parameters is there one is uh, major parameters are time efficiency memory efficiency logical correctness and semantic analysis so the code which you are providing na it should be uh, the most efficient code based on like you can uh, solve the question based on the time complexity and space complexity so two uh, things top 10 candidates will be getting the cash prize and top contestants who are shortlisted 
they will get an opportunity to participate in Assange's fast track recruitment process. So there is uh, the role of Associate Software Engineer and CTC 4.5 LPA and here you can see the job description. So what is the role, what is the CTC, where is the job location and eligibility criteria. So here also 2023 and 2022 pass out students, all streams or branches can apply and during the application process uh, you are not supposed to have any backlogs or arrears. So history of arrears can be there but active backlogs or arrear cannot be there. So here you can see the eligibility criteria to apply for this particular process also. So these are the things which you will get benefits from this Asanjar Hagdiva. So one is if you are getting one of the top 10 plays, you will get a cash prize of worth rupees 25,000. And if you are coming under a top contestant list, then you can apply even for this particular low associate software engineer. And the like, dates and all it is not yet to be announced. So this is a registration link and uh, this is again going to connect an unstop platform. So I'll uh, share this link in description. So you can see the link and make sure you are applying it. Only 13 days left for the application process because uh, MCQ uh, assessment is going to be connected on April 13 and now it is uh, a March 31st, right? Here you can see the number of uh, persons who registered 38,757 and deadline 13 days left individual participation. So I'll share this link. If you click on this link, here you can see an option called register. So you can click on this register and you can register for this hackathon for women in engineering contest that is Hackbiva. That's it people. I'll share the link in description. So make sure you're applying for it. This is an wonderful opportunity and uh, uh, the uh, like uh, the contest is also somewhat easy because in MCQs you are getting 20 MCQs that too from fundamentals and coding only one question that too for 45 minutes right so and uh, these two things are connected in two separate days and cumulative score of both the things is taken into consideration for the final shortlisted that's it thank you